Welcome to the Biobalance HealthCast, episode number 426, Anti-Aging Treatments for the Face. Biobalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of Biobalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. This week we are gifted and, and pleased to have uh, Mrs. Dana Whalen back with us. We've, we've done an episode with her previously. She is our uh, aesthetic nurse at our medical spa. Uh, called Biobalanced Skin. And we want to talk to her this week about what she can tell us to, to help us understand what happens to our faces as we age. Uh, I was talking to her before we started this morning and, and learning things about bone loss and collagen loss and fat pad shifting and gravity and all, all <laughs> kinds of stuff that I haven't paid a lot of attention to uh, and didn't know. And so Dana is is here to talk about some of the things that she uses, as you can see in front of us, in a medical spa to approach the anti-aging solutions that we want to find. So to, to begin with, Dana, could, could you and, and Dr. Maupin both explain to me a little bit, what is the difference between a medical spa and a spa? Because mm-hmm. yes. I, I don't know, and that's obviously. A, yes, and I mean, that's a great question because there are a lot of spas that are popping up on every corner. And it's really, really important that you understand the difference because there is a really big difference. And that is that medical spas, first of all, all the products that we carry, lasers that we carry, treatments that we perform should only be done under medical licensed personnel Mm -hmm. so that are Mm -hmm. trained in these medical procedures. So all of our staff go through, you know, different training. They go through specialized training so that we can provide procedures that really should only be done in a medical setting. Okay. Um, you know, Definage, the product that's sitting in front of us, perfect example. The company has taken a stance that because of the way this product performs and what it does, that they will only sell this product to medical spas. They will not sell this product. So you can't get this at, a, at just a regular spa that you would find in your Absolutely, neighborhood? Absolutely, yes. You cannot get this at a regular spa. You will not find this online. They want it to be overseen by a medical licensed mm-hmm. physician, mm-hmm. licensed staff that have been trained and understand the science behind the product. Um, you know, other procedures we do, lasers. You know, a lot of the companies have taken stances that – they will not sell a laser mm-hmm. to someone that does not have someone like a Dr. Maupin overseeing the medical spa. And that mm-hmm. also is what sets us apart is that you have a physician overseeing the staff because we are doing procedures that are a little more invasive, um, potentially a little more aggressive. But in return, you're going to see better results. Mm-hmm. Okay. So could you add so to that? The, um, for me, I, as a medical director of the medical spa, I have to learn how to do all of the treatments. I go to the training with everyone else to to learn how everything works and what the side effects are and how to troubleshoot. And that's something that usually if you have a laser, that the laser company brings in people to teach you all of that. So in general, medical directors don't do that, but I do. And I also look for ways where biobalanced health and biobalanced skin can work together. Because part of aging is that our hormones drop and our growth hormone decreases. And we have to try to support that so that our treatments are actually much more effective because our patients generally have their thyroids fixed, their their, uh, testosterone and estrogen replaced if they're women and testosterone for men. So they get a better outcome, not only because we're a medical spa, but also because they have this underlying... um, foundation. So, so you put cards health. back in the deck. Mm-hmm. As we age, cards fall out of the mm-hmm. deck. And you yeah. put those cards back in the deck and then you have an opportunity to work with the underpinnings that you need to to do the things that you do to help us fight the looks and the feel mm-hmm. of aging. Absolutely. And part of that, you know, going back to the medical spa, uh-huh. part of that is understanding your anatomy, 
knowing mm-hmm. where your major vessels lie. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you definitely yeah. don't want someone just sticking a needle in your face without understanding, mm-hmm. you know, their facial anatomy, understanding the aging face, understanding what, you know, what they're doing, um, because it's, um, you know, there are liability and there's well, risk. Like the last time that you visited with us, you talked about a, a treatment that you offer called threading, mm-hmm. where you insert something under the skin down toward the chin and then pull things up Mm -hmm. inside under the skin. You have to know where you're going. You have to know what's there, what you have to avoid. Oh, absolutely. For those reasons. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's important to understand what plane you're in. You're not going too deep, too superficial. You've got a lot of nerves. You've got a lot of muscles. You have a lot of major vessels. So it's extremely important to understand your facial anatomy and you know, that's the thing that sets a medical spa apart is that we go through a lot, and I mean a lot of extensive training. I have right. a little mm-hmm. fun saying that. I mean, I feel like if I'm not learning something new every day, mm-hmm. then I'm not doing my job. That's right. perfect. Me you too. certainly aren't keeping up. Me too. Absolutely. Yeah. But one of the things that people always ask me and that you explain beautifully is what is it about the face that makes us look old? I mean, we, we look at somebody and we go, I know what age they are because of how they look. But we don't pick out the little pieces of it that cause a person to look old or young. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'd like to know. I'd like everybody to hear is what you've told me in the past about how you divide the face up and and how how that ages, how our faces age and then what we do about it. Absolutely. So um, this is actually my favorite part of my job because Mm -hmm. when clients come in, especially when it's their first time, I love spending time with them. And trying to help them understand the aging face because many times clients come in and they don't understand what's going on. So the first thing you do is they sit in my chair and they go, you know, I want you to fill these lines. Well, what they don't realize is that is a symptom of a bigger problem. And the problem is, is those fat pads have descended. Um, Gravity has taken over. And because of those fat pads descended, guess where those fat pads used to be? They used to be back up here. So we've lost volume in the mid face. There's reasons why you have those facial creases or those facial folds. So sometimes just filling the um, symptom of the problem doesn't mm-hmm. give you that more youthful look. You actually have to understand what the problem is first. So, so, so then is that a matter of your age or is it a matter of how you've lived? Like if, if you spend a lot of time in the sun, I, I know as a kid I ran around in the in the south without a shirt and and we never heard of sunscreen <laughs> all summer mm-hmm. for many summers Back in the dark and, ages they didn't have that. Mm-hmm. yeah and, and <laughs> yes. uh or, or everybody i grew up around was a smoker mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. all the people that i knew smoked in the car in the house and that ages your face immediately even if you're just breathing the second hand so, mm-hmm. so you have people who come in who <clears throat> have those backgrounds and say what can you do mm-hmm. Uh, or they've identified a particular concern and say, can you, can you fix this? Mm-hmm. And you have to explain to them, well, it starts way up here. Right. So, so let's do something here. Mm-hmm. And it's like dominoes. Right. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, first of all, I think, you know, sitting down and really spending time with clients, consultations are so crucial because mm-hmm. we have to set realistic expectations. I mean, if someone came in and they're, I'm just going to use this as an example, but they come in, they're 60 years old, they've smoked their entire life, they've laid out in the sun, and they expect to look 20 again. That's unrealistic. Right. So I think it's important to make sure we're both on the same page, that they understand what's going on with the aging face, Mm -hmm. and that I'm realistic with them in saying that, you know, here's what I feel I can do for you. If those results are acceptable, then, hey, we have a great relationship. But if your results are, your expectations are unrealistic, then I feel like there's a lot of red flags there, and maybe this isn't a good fit. Because I really, you know, what we have, the, the tools we have in our, in our drawer, you know, our fillers, our neurotoxin, our threads work beautifully, but, you know, it's, they're not surgery, okay? So I just, you know, I love doing a consultation with a patient, explaining what's going on, and then making sure that we're on the same page. But so, it's, the, it's the fabric they have to work with. Yes, absolutely. And so absolutely. if the fabric's been damaged then oftentimes you send them over to me first. Mm -hmm. So then I have to look at their hormones and look at their, I mean, hormones determine, especially testosterone, determines whether your collagen is going to hold up your face 
after we put filler in. I Absolutely. mean, if it's, it, the, is it going to work? Is it going to look good? And also the texture of your skin gets better with estrogen and testosterone if you're female, mm -hmm. testosterone if you're male. So sometimes we have to refer back and forth to get the fabric to look good before she works with the fabric. How do you know that that's going to stay in place? If you put something, an injection mm -hmm. here, how do I know it's not going to run down here and just hang <laughs> off my chin? Well, first of all, you got to understand your fat compartments. I mean, our, we have various fat compartments in our face. So if you understand those and you understand that, you know, once you inject in that compartment, okay. okay. It's divided. It's divided. Okay. Yes. So the chances of it migrating um, are minimal. Um, and you just have to understand where you're placing the product. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important, um, you know, what filler I pull out of my drawer is dependent on what bothers that patient the most. Do uh, we have biostimulators like Radius, um, Sculptra, and Bellafil? And we what offer does that all mean? three. Biostimulators. Biostimulator is a filler that actually can stimulate your own collagen. Okay. Versus a hyaluronic acid is just going to kind of fill that void or fill that space. But when it's gone, you're not left with anything really. But there's. I get nervous when you say, I'm going to put some acid in your face. Well, it's <laughs> not really. Yeah. It, I know. I know. That's kind mm -hmm. of a funny word. It's, it's hyaluronic acid in chemi chemical terms, but it really looks like a gel and it doesn't feel like an acid. It doesn't okay. burn. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. There's. there's <laughs> it, it, that's just a chemical name. We should just call it hyaluronic. Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic filler. Filler, yeah. Hyaluronic yeah. filler. But it's just basically the precursor to collagen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, you know, let's <clears throat> let's divide the face up. This is how I usually do a consultation. <clears throat> okay. Um, when I sit down with a client, I say, okay, we're going to look at your face in a third, a third, a third. Okay, so the upper third being kind of if you drew a line straight through the middle of your eyes and up. Okay. So that would cover my eyebrows and eyelids like, as well as like my right forehead. Crow's yeah. feet, your forehead, exactly. Okay. Um, gold standard in that area is our neurotoxins, our neuromodulators, so Botox, Dysport, and Xeomin. Um, we offer all three of them. And all neuromodulators do is they just, they don't allow you to make that dynamic expression that constantly causes those facial wrinkles, those facial creases in that forehead. So every time you're expressive, you know. <laughs> constant state of surprise. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. Like I was watching you earlier yeah. when you were talking, you yeah. you know, it's just that constant, we sometimes don't realize we're doing it. have a very it. mobile face. Yeah, <laughs> we can help you. <laughs> but, you know, you don't really need that dynamic expression to eat, talk, sleep. So it's just our gold standard that if I can soften or not allow you to make those big dynamic expressions that you're making, that over time those wrinkles and that will you know diminish and in some cases completely disappear. Huh. So in the upper third of the face, our neuromodulators are the best. Um, and that's where I always love to start everyone. Middle third. So let's kind of draw a line right above your upper lip there up to your eyes. Okay. This is where we lose volume. Um, and if I, I'd say the number one thing that I inject, if, if I could just, if someone said I have one, I can afford one syringe, it is the cheeks because it's where we lose the most volume. And it, to me, makes the biggest wow. I mean, mm -hmm. patients yeah. look in my, the mirror. My glasses used to rest on my cheeks. Now yeah. they, they sit on my nose. Well, well we can, we can do it. this for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera, but. <laughs> yeah. But. Patients don't think about, you know, the aging face and they don't think about getting their cheeks injected. They just, what bothers them is this crease. Well, right. that's because they've lost volume in the cheeks. But they've also gotten these, you know, you're, especially in men, you guys get this kind of like hound dog look. Mm -hmm. So that's from loss of, of fill, fat, fat yeah. in your cheeks. So when we do that, it's a twofer. You get your eyes go back to normal to where they should go, and then you lose, you lose some of this. That Well, what I call it is I call it the lower lid cheek junction. And mm -hmm. what happens is if you look at your children, you know, find, or your grandchildren, and you see that the lower lid goes right into that cheek, and they don't have that hollowing. Mm -hmm. So what happens as we age is that lower lid to cheek junction starts elongating and deepening. Mm -hmm. So by filling the cheeks, you also can help shorten that distance, which makes you look more youthful. And the other thing that happens is when we're young, we start off with this beautiful V shape. And what happens is then all of a sudden we start well, doing yeah. this. Yeah. We start getting heavier in the lower third of our face. We start flattening or losing volume this. in the yeah. middle. And getting Under stuff here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, our jowls and yes, the <clears throat> neck is, you know, part of, but, and so if I can just bring you a little bit back to that V shape, mm -hmm. it just does wonders as far as giving you that more youthful look. So that is a, 
not totally, but somewhat cosmetic improvement over the foundation that you begin mm-hmm. with to, to make sure mm-hmm. that the thyroid is working mm-hmm. and the hormones are working and balanced where they need and to be. And that they can actually so, make collagen. Yes. Because as your testosterone drops, as you in women, by the time you're 50, you don't make collagen as well as you did before. So your, bo- your whole body's in a state of building and breaking down. So your building decreases and your breaking down increases. So all your collagen is decreasing. And that's from lack of testosterone. So we give testosterone back so that you can make collagen as fast as you break it down. So you don't have a net loss. So when I'm talking to people, when they come back in on the fir- after the first treatment, they look better. Yeah. But it's not like they got their cheeks filled or their, their, skin, their skin tone is better. They have more blood flow there. And that's what you need mm-hmm. to to have um, fillers is is to respond to them. Yeah, I mean, there's so, two. So, so how does Definage work into that? Well, so Dr. Maupin kind of works from the inside. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm kind of, I guess, working In a little between, more from some the, inside, some, some outside, inside, yeah. some outside. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, part of our overall anti aging. I mean, truly, anti aging is inside to out. So the hormones, re- hormone replacement is crucial to better skin as well as feeling mm-hmm. better. Um, filler, of course, is going to help us, you know, replace some of that volume that we've lost. Right. But, you know, good medical grade skin care is so important and, you know, and good sunblock um, is important. It's amazing how many clients are sitting in my chair and they're ready to purchase a couple of syringes of filler, but they're still on over-the-counter products, over-the-counter skincare. Right. The reason that you have medical-grade skincare, and, and this is a point that I just get so passionate about, is that over-the-counter skincare is really meant to feel good on your skin, mm-hmm. but it's not really doing anything at a cellular level. Because think about it, when I go into Target, Walmart, and I'm pulling oil valet off the shelf, if it's you know too aggressive on someone's skin, or it, you're, <laughs> someone's getting a retinol-like response with that product, there's no one to call. You know, you're going to call the 800 customer service number at Oil Valet. They don't, you know, they don't know how to handle. So, products are made when over the counter. They're made to just feel good on your skin. It's the medical grade products that are actually doing things at a cellular level. I mean, we're trying to push the envelope. We're trying to make your skin wake up, produce new collagen, stimulate new collagen, and by doing that, um, you're going to see better results than your over the counter products. I mean. I'm still amazed, Brett, that people are going to Saks and spending $400 on a cream that, when, does, that doesn't that do anything I knew about when they can have all three <clears throat> products here with Definage. So what are these three products? So Definage was discovered by a Russian scientist, and oh my gosh, I'm this guy is brilliant. This is what Dr. Amy Taub, who is a world-renowned dermatologist South Chicago, I have the utmost respect for her. She was one of the study sites for this. She kind of summed it up and said, this is that once in a decade finding, that once in a decade in dermatology that was the uh, like an aha moment. Mm-hmm. This is extremely new technology. So what Definage does is um, we were studying, the scientist was studying wound healing. And what he realized is during wound healing, the body releases neutrophils. So let's say you were at home, right, and you were cutting something, you actually cut your finger. That's actually happened. Okay. so Recently. (laughs) Recently. So basically what happens is the body goes into like a wound healing cascade because it needs to get that wound closed because we don't want to let bacteria back into the skin Mm -hmm. or back into the body. So what happens is the body releases white blood cells immediately, the neutrophils. They rush to those areas. They release what's called a defensin. And this has all just been discovered over the last few years. Those defensins may, it's an antimicrobial defensin that signals our master skin stem cell that lies dormant in our hair follicles all over our body, just waiting to be called upon in case we have a wound. Right. He has figured out how to make a topical product you put on your skin that actually releases the defensin, signals our LGR6 positive that's lying there in our hair follicle, and immediately signals those guys, those guys go into action, they create brand new basal stem cells, which creates mm-hmm. brand new skin. So wow. this product, just two steps, AM and PM, that's it. I mean, simple, simple, two steps. All the studies were done just with those two steps, both AM and PM, basically addresses 16 different signs of aging in six weeks. Wow. So I don't use anything else now. 
I mean, I couldn't believe it. I've used it for six weeks and it was like, it looked, everything, the tone, the texture, everything Absolutely. looked better in two weeks. Absolutely. I'm going to cheat here because I always okay. forget, I always forget a couple of these, but mm -hmm. um, smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, improves the look of surface imperfections, brightens overall tone and radiance, promotes a more even texture, revives clarity, replenishes moisture, balances the skin natural barrier, renews softness, um, pore reduction. Uh, I mean, 16 different signs of aging in six weeks. And when do you see like a study? This, this thing was, Definage was so heavily studied, multi-center study. Um, double blinded, placebo controlled, which mm -hmm. Dr. Moffin, it's I'm most, sure. It's more, more like a drug than a, Absolutely. I mean, it's not a drug and it's not dangerous, but they tested it like a drug. Right. And they used what's called a quantificare system, which is a scientific imaging system that does not lie. So when mm -hmm. they, you know, are looking at pore reduction, what product do you know out there or what, you know, uh, do you know that had like a 100% patient satisfaction on pore, or so they saw 100% mm -hmm. of the patients had pore reduction. So it's amazing. You might see 90%, mm -hmm. you hardly see 100%. But in some of the 16 different signs of aging, they saw 100% of the patients responded. Mm -hmm. But this so, is a one in, one in a decade kind of. Uh, it is. And, and it's not terrifically expensive when you think that you're charging three and $400 for a little face cream at at Saks. Absolutely. So, and that does nothing except it, it sits it, on top of your skin and holds in the moisture. That's what moisturizers were meant to do. But this actually permeates the, uh, the epithelium and gets down to the dermis. That's what's different about it. And it gets mm -hmm. to, but the other thing that's different is the signaling to, to the uh, stem cells in the hair follicle. Right, because so. all the growth factors <clears throat> that are currently on the market, so one of the biggest ones would be TNS. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's human growth factor, whether it's snail growth factor, I mean, there's a lot of them out there on the market right now, and it's very confusing. They all do the same thing, and that is that they're signaling our existing basal stem cells to do more and more and more. Well, if you take someone that's, you know, 60 years old, um, you know, some of their basal stem cells are mutated. Um, they're they gone. They're gone. They, they disappear. Don't, they don't have as many. So you're asking, our, you're asking our tired, worn out basal stem cells to do more and more and more. And it's not, they're not specific in what they're signaling. This literally is signaling our master skin stem cell to create more that's, basal stem that's cells. That's exciting news. And, mm -hmm. and obviously you're both excited about it and your energy and enthusiasm is good. It's caused us to run a little bit long. And, and <laughs> I appreciate your attention. Uh, but we are that excited about what we do at Biobalance Health and Biobalance Skin. And, and our patients are excited about the results that they can get. Mm -hmm. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.